Okay guys, we got the box, I got my knife. Let's open this thing up and see what's inside. All right. So let's tip it over because I know this thing's pretty heavy. That was a fart, that was a box. Okay, so it comes in these big, Two big styrofoam blocks. Um, yeah. That's triangular. That's cool. So you can see, it's cool. Let's get the other styrofoam off here. And come to this foam, foam protection. This little. Uh, kind of foam felty cloth protector. Okay, so right away you can see actually two of these blades have these little rubber feet on them uh, that kind of protect from scratching, so that's cool. Let's put this on a Lazy Susan so we can kind of see better. All right, so there you go. It looks just like it does in the pictures. All right, so let me open up the inside, open up these uh, blades, take the covers off so you can see what's inside. Just each blade has two thumb screws that, that secure the plates. <clears throat> and you pull the plates out like this, back towards the back. These are pretty heavy. I'd say they're about four or five pounds each. Solid steel. And let's rotate it. The other way. You can see also it stands by itself. You don't need the feet. It's an accessory box. And another accessories box. So let me uh, set this up. The best way to show you guys would be this way. Um, so positioned at the top right now is what we call the performance blade. This is where the graphics card goes. It fits a uh, full length graphics card. So let me grab a GTX Titan X real quick. You can see it fits in there with plenty of room to spare, about two and a half inches left. And it has its own dedicated fan there. So that'll really help with the cooling of the uh, graphics card. Now also, you'll notice in here is the uh, is a female PCI Express connector. So that connects actually with the rest of the system uh, through this PCI Express ribbon cable that routes through the spine and into this other bay, the other blade I should say. And you can see that the male end of it is right here. And this would line up with where the PCI Express slot of a mini ITX motherboard would be. So you simply install the card and the motherboard and then you just plug that right in to the motherboard and you're hooked up. So uh, real quick, this blade here is obviously for the motherboard and the processor. Uh, it's got room for a mini ITX motherboard and then in front of that is space for a 120 millimeter liquid cooling radiator and a fan. Uh, so that helps keep the heat from the motherboard, the processor, the memory, the VRM chips and all of that stuff in that section of the case so it doesn't have any effect on the graphics card temperature or anything like that, so that's always a good thing. Uh, quickly moving back up to the top, you'll see also in this in this blade, there are three pre-wired two and a half inch bays for hard drives or SSDs. So they're kind of in like a hot swappable configuration. You just put them in these trays and you slide it back in and it hooks up and those cables are routed also, the data cables at least, the SATA connectors, are routed down here into this uh, the motherboard blade as well. And that'll really help in the, when we're building it. It'll help us not have it route those cables. So that's cool. And then finally, let's move over to the other blade that we haven't talked about yet, which is where the power supply goes. The power supply mounts here in the back. 
it supports uh, full length ATX power supplies and even longer ones too. Some of the modular ones are longer. Uh, so that's a, a, a good feature. <clears throat> and then also in this blade are two three and a half inch hard drive bays. So for standard uh, spinning drives. And then in the middle here is a space to mount a uh, slot load optical drive. But you don't need to have one with this case. In fact, uh, it comes with a, a face plate here that doesn't even have a slot. So you can, you can change that out as you want. And you'll also notice in this bay that there are some power connectors here. And those are for those previously mentioned two and a half inch hot swap bays up, up by the graphics card. So it's really helpful that this they've done a lot of work here already uh, that you can instead of having to go through and cable manage everything once you put the system once you put the parts in it's all kind of there already for you so that'll really help later on and uh, so I guess now we're ready to sort of put more stuff in this system and it's gonna be pretty interesting so we'll have that for you soon.